such. Today I'm going to be showing you how I use my hat attachment for my brother Persona PRS100 embroidery machine. Um, please watch the ads, it helps me out. And please give me a con leave me a comment and please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I have part of my um, attachment hooked on the side of my table. Um, nice and sturdy. It just gives you a place for it to hold so that you're able to work with the hat. Um, the second part is of the attachment is this part with the, the round hole in the middle. You're going to put it on with these um, arms facing backwards or away from the table. You're going to line up this little cut out segment right here. And you're going to line it up with the two hole, two screws that are right here on the top of the frame. Okay. If you if you go too far up, you'll you'll see that it doesn't um or too far down. If you if you're laying flat on it, it won't hook. But if you lift it up just a little, lined up there, and once it's lined up, you'll see that the little white wheels line up with the little rectangular holes that are right on the side and it's the same thing on the other side once you have that um lined up and also there's a little um plate here with a screw um this here will slide under that little plate once it's lined up you'll just squeeze it together and it'll click and, and it's it's in there nice and sturdy you want to make sure that this part here is folded back and out of the way for now. Then what you're going to do is you're going to loosen the part across the top that has these two bands. You're going to loosen it on this side. There's a little flap. And you're just going to bend it back out of the way. You're going to take your hat. You're going to um, loosen the um, Velcro. I don't know. And then you're going to take the little hem part in here, the band, and you're going to fold it down so that you're not sewing it to the hat. Okay? Which I don't think it, the way I'm doing them, I don't think it would actually sew to the hat, but I'm not going to take any chances. So just fold it like this. You're going to place the bill up. And actually, I'm going to need a piece of cutaway. Let's see if this is lighting up. Perfect. I'm actually going to need, um, a piece of tearaway. I'm sorry, I'm going to use tearaway. And this is a little too wide. I'm just going to even it up on both sides. Okay, I like it about like this. And what I'm going to do is slide it under that and leave it laying there. Okay, then I'm going to carefully put this on the top of it and just make sure that it stays nice and straight under there. The band part that I folded down will go under this metal piece. So I'm going to just kind of rotate it back and forth until you get it under there. It's under there. I'm going to make sure the sides are straight. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to there's a little red line on this tab here. You're going to make sure that is lined up with the line, the thread line on the front of your hat. And if not, you, if you don't have a thread line where it's sewn together, then you have to kind of eyeball it. But you're going to line it up with that. Twist it a little bit that way because when you, when you put this on it, it's going to pull it. You're going to pull this up. Carefully, don't mess your hat up, but put it across there. Get it as close to the band of the hat or the hem of the hat as you can. Now another thing you want to do is make sure that if you don't get it right on it, that you get it the same distance. So you don't want one side being right on it and then another side being a half an inch away. Then you're going to take your the metal piece over here and, you're, and I know you can't see this, but you're going to hook it. Now, before I snap it, I'm going to sit here and make sure that I've got the hat where I want it. I just kind of pull it out. 
Okay. Or if I'm going to do it, I'm going to... Okay. All right, that's about where, how I want it. So I'm going to hold it with my hand, and then I'm going to snap it. Before I do it all the way, I'm going to check it again. And I'm offline, so I'm going to loosen a little and just twist my hat. Until I get the line carefully lined up with the red line. And then I'm going to snap it. Okay? Now, I am going to pull it in a little, make sure that it's nice and straight. All right. Now what I do is I take the little clips that came with the hat. You're going to pull down. Don't pull this way or that way. You're going to just pull straight down. Let me check the top of my hat again. Yep, it's lined up. Straight down, and then you're going to clip it. Okay, you're going to take another clip. Same thing. You're going to pull straight down and clip. You're going to do the back side the same way. I know you really can't see the back side, but you're going to pull down and clip. Pull down and it's a little harder in this corner. I need to, whoops, I popped it off. There we go. Uh -oh. I need to move it out a little bit when I'm doing it. Okay. All right. So I have that done. Now I'm ready to push this on. So you're just going to push the bill of the hat down onto the metal plate, flip this over and onto the bill, and then just push it down to hold the bill. Now I'm ready to embroider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, where are the little pieces that push it loose? Oh, right here. I'm going to take these little tabs and I'm going to push backwards while I pull out. And this is what I end up with. End up with this and I'm ready to embroider. Okay. Now I don't know that I'm really happy with how far I'm up from this. So I think I'm going to try this again. I thought it would be okay, but I'm just really not sure I'm liking, liking it like that. So, okay, I'll take this back off again, and it holds pretty tight. I'm just not liking the way that it's fitting. So, I'm going to carefully pull that back out. I'm going to try it again. And it may be the way the hat's made, I don't know. But I just don't like being that far from the edge. First hat um, that I did tonight, the was right up against the edge, so it wasn't, okay. All right, I got it on there. I'm just gonna make sure. Okay. All right, I think that's better. Let me make sure. I'm on the line. I'm going to try to hold the hat there. And I'm going to Okay, it must not be on quite right. It's just not fitting this hat. Usually I don't have this this type of problem.
because I was up on that. Okay. I think I figured out what I was doing. There we go. And it's still... Okay. When I move it, it's kind of like it gives. We're going to do it anyway. Alright, let's see if I am lined up again. I am. Okay. I'm gonna push the hat that way. It's like it's just moving. try it. Push it loose. That off. Okay, now that I have the hat on the um, frame, the way you're going to put it on there is you're going to turn it sideways. And it doesn't matter which sideways, but I turn it to one side, you're gonna easily slip it on. And then once you get it on there, you're gonna rotate it up. Now I'm still not really on the hook, but I, you rotate it up where the, the middle part is to the top. Then you're gonna line up those little white wheels with the rectangular squares, just like you did on the side of the table. And then once you get them lined up, you're just going to push and then once you get it in there, you are um, you are ready to go ahead and make sure that you have your design ready. All right, this one is uh, going to be a the customer wants a purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you out. Actually, I may have to just bring it back. And I'm going to just take the thread off of this, this part, off of this one, and I'm going to thread the color that the customer wants. Okay, I'm going to start doing it from this side, but through the top hole. Go underneath the little tension thing. I wrap around twice. I was wrapping around three times um, just because that was what the place where I bought the machine told me to do. Someone else said they only do one time, which is what the book said, the manual. Uh, so I started doing it twice. It's worked with doing it three times. And it has also worked with doing it, I can't see from over here, there we go. It also has worked doing it twice, so I'm not going, um, that's kind of up to you how you want to do it. What works for you? And it is a little hard. in that hole so I did buy a little light but I haven't I haven't put it on the machine yet so and I will say that my at the moment my threader the automatic threader is not working which um, from what I've read online different people have said that um the threader doesn't work. So, Kaylin, my mommy's recording. And so, um, I'm going to call them about that um, and see what they say. So, alright, I have my thread, my bobbin. I'm ready to, um, to go ahead and get my initials ready. I'm going to set the initials up and I'll bring you back. Okay, I have my um, monogram ready. Um, 
with what I'm going to monogram. It's actually already flipped it over for me. Um, and I have the, of course the hat was already on there. I just want to make sure that the other part side, the back of the hat is kind of hanging down that it isn't like tied up on top of my, my bobbin case or my platform here. Okay. So I have that ready. My threads ready. Um, I can check it one last time to make sure it's centered. It's going to go about that far. It's going to go up to there and there. What I like to do is I like to take it down as far as it'll let me. That's as far down. It's actually not going to let me take it down any. So, I guess I'm ready. And we are ready to embroider. Put you on this side so you can see it. Zoom you in a little. And it's like it binds though. Here we go. finished with the W so now I'm going 
to go ahead and press lock and go. did take the clips off this side which was probably a mistake just felt like it was holding it a little too snug so anyway we're gonna see see how it does lock and go
telling me that it's done. I'm going to take the clips off. I'm going to reach back and pull this off. And I'm going to turn it sideways and carefully take it off. Pull you back over here. So you can see. You're out. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll take the top off. A little flip. I'll go to this side and unlatch it. Take carefully take that off. On. And there you go. I have um, a nice purple hat done. Um, I, I mean, a black hat with purple. I just did this one before that one which is a camouflage in hot pink and then I have uh, three or four more that I need to finish so that's how you embroider a hat on a brother persona PRS 100 uh, thanks for watching um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time this is Sean Woodell from Heavenly Soaps and Such